asked me to, to create something beautiful, I'd be held back by the lack of skill. I can't draw like that. I can't, I can't animate like that. I doubt that you can either. But with tools like this, you can create what you imagine. You can translate what's in your brain or in your imagination or in your heart to the screen or to a design. Um, and it can be photorealistic or it can be anything else you want it to be. It doesn't have to be photorealistic. It can be, it can it look like a, you know, a comic book if that's what you want it to look like. But in choosing that, you have the agency. You're not limited by your skills or limited by your capability to use a, a computer in an incredible way. Um, we make that possible. All right, so let's say I happen to be an NFL fan. I want to play wide receiver. Uh, I'm not obviously going to do it in real life. Can I do that in Unity Life? Can I be out there with the other players and you can't tell that I'm not real? Well, <laughs> there's about 10 questions wrapped up in that. So first off, there's, there's video games, you know, from companies like Electronic Arts where you can play Madden and you can be, you know, part of the game. But if you, you want to, let me, let me pull this back for a second. A traditional movie is made primarily with a camera and then special effects are brought in after. You know, in the future, you're going to use tools like Unity and tools like the weather tools we've brought, where it's virtual production, where the entire environment is created inside of a computer. And what you're doing is essentially using green screen to put somebody's face or somebody's body inside of that environment. And, you know, movies like Spielberg produced with, with Ready Player One were done just that way. So as we invert the model, where the computer becomes the primary, um, if you will, framework for the, the structuring of a new film or the structuring of a new, new design, um, yes, you can be inside of that world um, and you can inhabit anybody you want. Now, a lot of technology goes in, into that. And when people talk about, and I, and I think the term's a little overused with the metaverse, but what they're really talking about is the things that we experience online or on the internet they become 3D, they become interactive, they feel real, like you're there. Right. You, you, you've moved to another place. An early terminology, that, that early term I, I, I heard a lot for this was presence, the sense, you're, the sense that you're in a right. different place. And it is a, an astonishing change. Um, it's amazing for education, you know, what you can right. teach people when they can feel what they're doing versus just feeling it through the teacher at the end of the classroom talking to them, they're, they're actually interacting with it, um, you learn a lot more. So there's so much power that's going to be unleashed from doing these things. And tools that, that we're bringing to, the, to everyone now, the, the web tool chain and the many tools behind it, will be such an enabler to artists across that literally any industry. Well, John, you are too visionary. It's going to be unity. I know it's going to be unity. I don't want people to think about the stock. I want people to think about the future. This is the kind of stock a younger person watching right now. This is the kind of stock you own. John Rickettel, President and CEO of Unity. So great to see you again. Thank you.